All right, so uh, we have successfully built our uh, ROM based on the new tree. Uh, you know, we're rebasing that tree on the U unique, and uh, I want to get into that in a minute because I think we're going to have some problems. We're going to need to pull some logs and that sort of thing. But what I wanted to show real quick was a video on how to control Team Win Recovery Project through the terminal with ADB. Uh, instead of actually using the screen itself. And this is super handy because what if your screen gets broken and you know you have ADB on there and you know you have Team Win Recovery Project and you know that you should be able to get everything you need and do what you want to do and you just can't seem to figure out what you need to do to make that work. Well, here's how you do that. So, right now I'm in ADB. Of course, I just use the buttons to, uh, to go to... Um, you know the recovery mode by holding the up button and the power button in this case but uh, if if your phone uh, you know if you can boot into team win recovery um, and it's uh, not uh, you know screen functional like the screen is busted or something here's some really great tips on how you can control it all from the command line so you can see my uh, device here the recovery mode and the serial number for device the uh, great thing is, is ADP Shell has this uh, twerp command that they instituted in, I think it was uh, Team Win Recovery Project 2.8 and up. But if you run it, uh, it'll tell you, oh, here's all the different options that you have. So for instance, we can say ADP Shell Team Win Recovery product, or Project uh, Wipe, and we'll say Wipe Dalvik helps if I can spell right so ADB shell team win recovery project wipe Dalvik and uh, on the screen what I saw is it actually went to the um, command line interface and it did what it was supposed to do just like if you brought up the terminal by going through um, you know advanced and then clicking on the terminal button so then you can also say you know wipe uh, data you can say wipe system um, wipe cache you know all the all the regulars you can do from right there and of course if you just say ADB shell team win recovery project you're gonna see the list of the options that you can do now um, one of the other things that we can do is you can do a backup you could say um, you know you want to back up your uh, your phone now I just wiped everything so that really doesn't work too well but uh, you can say backup and then choose uh, you know what you want to back up if you just want to back up like system or if you just don't leave anything you can just back up the whole thing and name it whatever you want to name it and of course it just puts it right there on the uh, on the drive so I just wanted to take a minute to show how we could do that. I'll also show how we could install a, um, you know, a file uh, or a, you know, install a ROM here. So we just built this one, and so here it is, our out target product life XL, and we've got our uh, build right here that we just built. So we're going to copy that. And let me get back to here. And we're just going to paste it, of course, in the internal storage. You could also use ADB to um, push or pull, you know, just like you do. And I have I have some videos on how to use ADB, uh, which would be very handy if you're not familiar with it. Uh, please check those out on my channel. Just uh, you know, you can just search on my channel for ADB, but also. Uh, um, just take a look at the playlist. I think there's one that mentions, uh, you know, for building the custom ROMs um, start to finish, and there's a whole section just on using Fastboot, using ADB. I highly recommend you check those out. Uh, it'll be very useful to you, and I, I show some examples of using them as well. And just like that, I want to show an example of installing a zip through this ADB uh, shell command. We just gotta wait till it's done copying. And just take another second here. A little bit slow because I'm going through the virtual machine, through the real machine, and then to the phone itself. So not quite as high speed as if you just had it plugged into 
your regular computer, um, but uh, it gets the job done. Almost done now. So yeah, this interface of being able to uh, to control everything from for Team Win Recovery Project from ADB is really really handy. So what we're going to do is we're going to say install, and uh, now here's the the kicker is you'd have to actually know exactly what to type. But I'm going to show you a trick. If you just ADB shell and you're inside, you can still run those twerp commands. So you can say Team Win Recovery Project. And if I hit Tab, you know just after TW, it'll fill in the rest for me. So you know that it's there. You know that it's working. And I can say it's on the SD card. And uh, what did I call that? What is the name of the file? Um, so it's going to be lineage. It's going to start with an L. So if I just type that L and hit Tab, fills in the rest for me. Obviously, if you have more than one thing that starts with L there, you'd have to pick the right one. But uh, so pretty handy. Hit the Enter button. And uh, we've got a little bit of a problem. And is oh ah, sorry uh, twerp how about team win recovery project install so actually do something with the file yeah there we go all right now in this case I uh, had a problem where it says this is for device life XL capital and this device is a life XL lowercase so that needs I'm, I need to change some things in my zip but that would be the process of how you would install it using that twerp install and uh, what you didn't see is on the screen it actually tried to bring up the normal process just like when you install through team win recovery project and you see the you know the the um, scrolling text as it's doing the things that it's supposed to do and it said everything that's on my display here all of this was displayed on the screen as well so uh, so it still works very well. It's a very handy way to use uh, Team Win Recovery Project through ADB, and I wanted to throw this video in there uh, to make sure that people knew uh, that was an option and how to uh, how to utilize that best. So I'm going to have to uh, fix this zip, and if you're wondering how do you fix that zip, well, uh, the key thing that we got to do is we got to go to our device tree, device blue life XL and in here let's see make sure I open the right file here um, I'll look around for a minute and come back when I find it. Okay, I don't see it anywhere in here, but uh, essentially what we need to do is we need to add a target um, OTA assert device line in here. So in here, um, now I think what the actual problem is this target vendor product name is capitalized and it should be lowercase, but that's okay. One of the things that you can do is you can say um, target OTA assert uh, device and then we will give it some options so what we are saying here is what is an allowable use um, of something to uh, flash on here what's something that would be acceptable and notice that our issue is the packages for device capital life XL and not lowercase life XL and so uh, lineage is, or lineage, Linux is case sensitive so you have to make sure that you do that appropriately um, but uh, so here I just said life underscore XL and then life underscore XL in capital letters and then you could also say life XL and life life 
XL in case somebody built a ROM and they kind of named it kind of funky um, or if they built a team win recovery project rather and, and named it funky uh, so that way you could say all right any of these four options is acceptable it should definitely flash on one of these four types of phones so we're going to save that and then we just have to build it again and uh, then we'll be able to install that so I'm gonna go ahead and build that again and we'll pick this up in the next video